Good morning. I thought I would answer some of the questions that you've raised in your comments. Thank you very much, by the way. First of all, somebody was asking, could they copy my material and could they translate it into Spanish? Please do. There's no need to credit me. Just take my stuff, comment on it, just copy it completely as it is. I need people to know what is going on. There's no copyright on my videos at all. I'd be delighted if somebody else would take it up and comment on it uh, as you please. Now, did I win my legal case? Well, not really. I got what I wanted, but I was just too ill to continue. When I was before the president, uh, the judge in the High Court, he allowed me to sit down because I was so exhausted. And I knew that if I got permission to go ahead with accusing Watchtower of obtaining judgments by fraud, that I would just be too ill to deal with it. So I compromised and asked the president, would he give me the order that Watchtower should use fair procedures, which he gave me. Now, as to costs, yes, I had to bear the costs and they were considerable, but if it saves one person's life, if it saves one person from the harm of Watchtower's secret pro um, procedures, it would be worth every penny. <coughs> Excuse me. So I am supposed to pay Watchtower's costs in the previous judgments. So I asked Watchtower, would they tell me what those costs were? but they wouldn't send it to me. They knew that if I found out how much they were spending on legal cases, that I would publish the, the amount. And they don't want you knowing how much of your contributions that they are using to defend breaches of human rights. So I will not have to pay their costs. Besides which, if they took me to court, I would fight it tooth and nail because they did obtain those judgments by fraud. So now we come to your stories. Thank you very much. Some of them are horrific. Elders have such authority that they can abuse their power with impunity. There are no checks on what Watchtower does, on Watchtower elders do. I had to go to the local police because of what local elders were doing. And I showed the local uh, police sergeant this letter. <coughs> Sorry. Um, this is one of the secret body of elder letters. And it's saying to elders, look, don't tell anybody anything. Don't tell the courts, don't tell the police. Uh, don't let them know about our secret letters. Don't let them know what's in our secret shepherding textbook. Don't even tell them, even in a case where someone has been harmed, that you were involved by forming a judicial committee. Now, we what elders will do is they write out the S77 form. So in this other letter, um, elders are told, <clears throat> uh, uh, remember that this form, the S77 form, is disclosable, so they're worried about legal cases. So don't write any additional comments on the S77 form. The design of this form is to help avoid such extra remarks. Watchtower the branch office only gets a form which says that so-and-so has been disfellowshipped for such and such a thing. There's no detail on there as to what elders have done, how they reached the decision. Elders with impunity can do what they want. There are no checks. And the police sergeant that I spoke to was horrified about this because it does allow for abuse of power. So, um, thank you. I really hope that Watchtower has looked at some of the stories that you've put on because they need to know these things. So where do I come from? 
I was born in Cornwall, England, but my granddad was of Irish descent. I now live in Kerry, um, in Killarney, in Kerry. Um, it's a nice place. It's a very nice place. Anyway, there's another question that I need to deal with in depth, and that is, do I still believe what Watchtower teaches? And I'll deal with that in the next video. Sorry for my voice, but I don't have the virus. Thank you for watching.